So there's Sky Hill, there's the island, but the water's gone. And last weekend when we were mudding the Cheviac over there, this was all full. Like I mentioned before, it's even the dock. This is an engineered pond. There's the spring. See where it comes out of the ground. See where it's rushing away to oblivion. And that's my underwater road. It's about two and a half feet below the surface so that you can walk out to the island and not get your balls wet or whatever's down there, like your wallet, you know. Or you can take a raft or you can just swim. Now we're on Sky Hill. Remember the water from last week? Anyways, the reason why I'm doing this is that barrel on the end of my homemade green slide. I wish the wind would calm down. Someone either shot it or it leaks. So now my slide was sitting in the water too low and all twisted. So to access that I had to drain the pond. Now we're over closer to the spring. Comes out right by those bushes on the side of the hill. And rushes down to the drain in my valve system. And there's my floater bottles that adjust my valve that I made. That's where I just was. There's where the water is coming out. You can even hear it. There's actually another little spring that comes from over there. So they both meet right there where the drain is. And there's chain, a chain tied to those bottles that adjust the flapper valve. If I had to guess, there's probably 80 to 90 gallons a minute coming out of the ground here. So even when the lake is fully full, the valve is always a little bit open. Keep circulating the water and letting some down the drain because this never stops flowing. And it only takes about a week to refill this whole almost two acre pond once I shut that thing. When the pond is full, I just float over on that raft which is sunk to the bottom of the dock now. Pull the chain on those bottles. As you can see right there. And it activates this. Now it's like a round dome shaped lid. That's actually a barbecue 20 pound propane container with a hole cut in it and the bottom cut out. And this is the bottom which is now welded on a hinge to the top. So as you can see, the chain pulls on the valve and the bottle slope to the right level. Very redneck, simple and sweet and 100% effective. Fresh drinking water. Cool. And I've got this wire mesh thing all around the valve to stop seaweed from clogging the drain. So, it's time to shutter because it'll take a couple days before the water gets back over there so I have plenty of time to fix my floating slide. So here we go. And there's a lot of water pressure that holds that lid down sealed tight. That's why it has such a long lever to give it a pull to open it when the pond is full. Because way above that cable ride I made sure this was the deepest spot and it's 12 feet deep here. She's filling fast so I gotta get out of here. Ugh. Sucking my boots off man. Ugh. Well, now I might as well wash them off. There you go. Canadian fresh spring water. Spring water. Should bottle it and sell it. Sweet. Well, there's another shot of that road, all covered in dried seaweed, and it's dug out extra deep where the slides are. Currently, even though there's no water, it's about six feet deep there. Now I've got to find the problem with that barrel. See that slides on a hinge. Goes up and down with the water level.